to us tonight. Amen. 119. Psalm 119. At the Masters Round Table. Amen. Breaking chains. Got a few men that are not here, but you know what? They're in spirit. Amen. We talked to some folks tonight. We're in Psalms 119. Walk in the ways of God, meaning in obedience. For all your scholars out there, amen. The Bible tells us that um, my God is giving me a word. Mm -hmm. To be, you know, it's in Deuteronomy um, also, but I'll give you all that in a little bit. Psalms 119, what? Psalms 119, starting at 1 through 8. Okay. We're breaking chains at the Master's mm -hmm. Round Table tonight. You know, when you're obedient to God's word, the Bible tells us that we'll be blessed. Amen? Amen. Amen. But it also tells us that we'll be cursed. Uh-oh. My God. It tells us that um, there's a way to live, and there's, there, there's, there's two ways of living. Do you want to be, do you want to live blessed, or do you want to be cursed? Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's start, with, let's start with Romans chapter 12. Let's go to Romans, Romanos 12, verse 1. Quiet up in here. Ready to hear the word. Ready to listen. Obedience. Love. You know, when we were in our mess, we didn't have no obedience. We was like, what? What you said? I don't think so. I don't know what you said. I don't I ain't trying to hear it right now. Amen. The flesh was talking to us. We didn't, want it. we didn't know about obedience. We knew about obedience, but we didn't care about it. Amen? We had no gratitude. Amen? That's why I'm be preaching about Sunday gratitude. Amen? Because God has been given to me. But, you know, there's no gratitude. You know, so with no gratitude, there's no obedience. Right? Because right. if you had, a, you had gratitude, hey, you would be obedient to what somebody, because some, you know, God has given us so much, right? We should give him some gratitude. Amen? It says, you know, but but there's got to be a sacrifice behind it. Amen? The Bible says, therefore, I urge you. He said, I urge you, man. He, 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 he's just like trying to everything he can to tell you. Brother, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Amen? It says, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices. Not a sacrifice. Amen? They missed that S in there. Amen? Come on, talk to me, somebody. What is he telling us? To offer your bodies as living sacrifices. Because it says, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Amen? So he's saying this is the obedience that you have. This is how you worship God. Amen? There's going to be not only one sacrifice, but there's going to be many sacrifices. Amen? Amen. How many times do you sacrifice something for God that is not only just, you know, just because you gave up, you know, not one to see Stacy's tonight. Come on, amen? You know, like Brother Carl, he loved in his shoes, amen? But, you know, you know, sometimes he go, oh, he goes, like, I don't talk about my shoes over there. Come on, Carly. Hey! Uh -oh. You know, it's not only just because you got to give up your new belt. Come on, somebody. Give it to somebody. There's going to be many sacrifices we got to do to be obedient to worship God. Amen? That's what he's telling us. He's telling us that we, in, in, in the view of God's mercy, he says, right? Think about that now. He's talking about God's mercy. Well, how he had mercy on us. He said, the view of God's mercy to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. You know, so he's saying, you know, you got to give up some things 
to be holy and pleasing to God. Amen. So what does that take? That takes obedience, right? Yes. Without obedience, you'll never give up. You'll never give nothing up. You'll never give a sacrifice to God. Much less pleasing God. Come on, somebody. Much less being holy. Oh, I'm speaking to somebody tonight. No, really. He says this is your spiritual act of worship. This is what we do in the spiritual man. This is how God, we worship God and through our spiritual, spiritual sacrifices. See, that the carnal man can't do it. But when you begin to really tap into God and say, God, I, I need you to help me with this sacrifice today. I need you to help me stay committed to my job. I need you to help me stay committed to this home. I need you to help me stay committed to helping the home, giving gratitude back to the home. Come on. These are sacrifices. Amen. Amen. Sacrifices. You don't see your family. It was your birthday. You know, you wanted to call, you know, your other your brother's birthday, right? You know, these are sacrifices. You couldn't do it, right? But you still did it. Why? Because you were obedient to this home. You're obedient to your new walk in God. These are sacrifices. These are little sacrifices that you are doing that you can't see. Amen? I see it because I'm over here on this side. Talk to me, somebody. Yes, sir. Already. Amen? These are, these are things that we have to give up. It says to offer your bodies as them sacrifices. Man, these bodies, we tore them up too much already. Brother Eric was calling today, man. I, I can't sleep. I ain't sleep all night and nights. I ain't talking about my brother A because I hope he's back. He comes back. He couldn't sleep. He said he was paranoid. And you know what I told my wife? I thank God that I sacrificed that taste of that cocaine. So, and I said, I remember when it put me in that, in that area where I was trapped in a little room. He stayed in a little shack in the back. Can you imagine? Ain't slept. Ain't bad, probably, you know, and, then, and now he's paranoid. He, can you imagine going back to that? Man, I'll sacrifice that any day right now. Come on, somebody. Man, I'll turn my life around any day for that. And I was, my heart was hurting this morning because I put myself in his shoes and I was reminded how I felt the way he felt today. My God. Cocaine. Drugs will put you in a place where you won't sacrifice for God. You get deep back in that bed, you get deep back in that pill, you get deep back in that alcohol, you won't sacrifice nothing but yourself. You'll sacrifice not talking to your family, you'll sacrifice spending all your money, you'll sacrifice leaving your wife, your kids, your, oh my God, help me somebody, your home, your own bed, your own pillows, your cat, your dog, come on somebody. You'll sacrifice all that wife to feed the flesh. But the Bible telling us tonight, sacrifice for God so that you be pleasing to God, that you'll be holy for Him. My God, I'm speaking to somebody tonight. Amen. 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 Dice la palabra que tenemos que ser, el, el, el cuerpo tenemos que ser sacrificios para el Señor, para vivir santo, para que Él pueda mirar los que estamos sanos. Pero nosotros no queremos ser sacrificios para lo, lo más para nosotros. Perdemos viejas, perdemos casas, perdemos todo. ¿Para qué? Para nosotros mismos, para ponernos locos. Para poner borrachos, la cocaína. Para eso. ¿Por qué me apuntan a mí? Tell them now, this is what not me, this ain't me today. Talk to them, brother. Hey! Tell them, don't me, tell like this. Right. <laughs> I'm the other, and you know, he pointed like this, and other one's coming back over here. Come here, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another way, he says. Mira cómo vino, flaquito, mira cómo está. Mira. Huh? He said, "Look how he came. He came slimmer, but he's getting uh, built like the pastor over here." <laughs> come on, talk to us, somebody. <laughs> Look what it says. Do not conform any longer to the work, to the what? Help me, somebody. World. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. Oh. Huh? Mm -hmm. Look what it's saying, man. It's don't conform to the pattern of the world. You know, there's a pattern out there that we follow, bro. You know, to fit in, you know, we got to do what they do. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Yes, 
We got to look like them. We got to dress like them. We got to kind of cut our hair like them. And, you know, we got to have that fade on there, and, you know, the design in the hair and wear the same clothes. The devil is alive. God made me a peculiar person today. Amen. We are unique today, amen? We, we, we don't, we're not conforming to that pattern no more, amen? Come on, talk to him, Carly. No. I'm talking to somebody. Tell me, talk to me. I want to say something, you know. I did something Friday at work, you know. I was letting that lady cut my hair. And I told her, I said, I want to try a new, a new style of hair. Mm -hmm. what you want. I said, I want to see how I look at all the cut off. Mm -hmm. So she did it. Mm -hmm. The only reason I did is because I have two brothers. They like this shit. My hair got to falling out, so I said, well, I got to go on sacrifice it one day. So I said, go on, do your thing. So I cut it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is my new style of hair, y'all. Amen. 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 Y le digo, todos quieren un dibujo en la cabeza, se cortan la cabeza, se quieren mirar como los otros, los otros bandidos, ¿no? Los otros en otro rollo, quieren mirar cómo se vistan con la misma ropa, ¿no? De la palabra dice que no lo hagas. Nosotros somos nuevos. Y él dijo que se cortó todo su cabello para mirar como su hermano, porque ya se le va a caer el cabello, dice. Pero eso ahora es un estilo nuevo, amen. Lo clean. Y lo clean, amen. Look at like Brother Ricky over there. He ain't got them tweeds up there no more. Amen? Never again. Never. Huh? Them twisties up there no more. Yeah. Yeah. That's the old man. Yeah. My God, help me, somebody. What? But what does it say? But be transformed by the renewing yeah. of your mind, brothers. Yeah. Mm. You see, it starts in the mind, brother. If you can't renew this mind, something wrong with you. And I would say, man, if only, if only my brother Eric could just... Could just Get in his mind and say, you know what? I, man, I, I was better at the home. I left with $6,000. I left clean cut, shaved, looking good, wide eyed. He had everything. And now he's back to right back where he started. Mm -hmm. Why well, go back there? You got to start in his mind. You got to, it starts with the renewal of the mind. Oh, I'm speaking to somebody tonight. You got to tell yourself, be, before you make that decision to fall back off, tell my, tell yourself, look in the mirror and go, man, look how good I look today. But picture yourself how you were when you came back. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth to let it all go and be, and, and, and be in the, what does it say? Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. You see, see, we get into a pattern in life and that's all we choose. Ganamos en un, en un estilo de, de, de la vida y todo lo que queremos para estar como los demás, mirar como los demás, pero ¿para qué? Ellos no van a un lugar, van a seguir en drogados, van a seguir malos. Why, why do we conform back to the pattern of that world? They will stay sick, they will stay lost, they will stay broke, they will stay, no will take a bath. Oh my God, ain't got no woman, ain't got no car. Oh Lord, my God, Lord have mercy. How do you keep on going, brother? Lose, lose. Uh -huh. Why? Why, why go back to that cocaine? They be knocking at the cocaine. Be at the cocaine house going, wake up, I know you in there. I know you hear me. Then you're walking this window over here. Come on, somebody. Am I lying? Digo, ¿para qué se va para atrás en el rollo cuando estaban todos cocaínos pegados en la ventana a en droga que vendía la droga? Yo sé que está adentro. Y él dormido. He's asleep, got his pocket full of money. And you over there knocking on the front door and the back door and on the window. My God, I'm speaking to somebody tonight. <laughs> Why do we want to be in that, come back in that pattern like that? And we didn't do it one day. We didn't do it one week. We did it every day for years. My God. But thank God that my mind's been renewed in the mind of Jesus tonight. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Give God glory in the house. You see, I was telling my lady today, I said, you know what, I, I got to get back to, to, to share not just the Word of God, because the Word of God is, you know, the Bible says the Word of God, the anointing can break every yoke, amen? It does. It's going to break every yoke. Dice la palabra que va a quebrar todo lo que te tiene ganchado, amen? But I got to remind my brothers, the new guys that come in, and remind us about what God is here. 
cocaine, meth, free basin, mm -hmm. putting it in our army. Ooh. Chasing ladies that ain't got no teeth. Wait a minute now. <laughs> I ain't gonna pay for this one. Dinner with Pastor. Uh, let's see what he got. Let's see, let's see. What do you get? I don't know. I can't see you. Breakfast?